Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a major update for the beta channel insiders, which includes plenty of new features. And some of these new features we have already had a look at when they were in the Canary and the Dev channels. And now because they have made their way into beta, means they are getting closer to a public release. And this does also indicate that some of these features we will look at today could be rolling out with the soon to be released up and coming 23H2 feature update for Windows 11, which Microsoft will be rolling out in the latter months of this year, 2023. Now there's quite a lot to get through, so I'm just going to dive straight in. So what's new in build 22631? We get a modernized file explorer homepage, address bar, and also a new details pane where Microsoft says we can now see under the recommended section, we now get support for file thumbnails. We get quick access folders and recent and favorites also now bring in an updated experience with WinUI. They're moving on to the next, and this is regarding the uh, modernized address bar and search box, which they're also introducing now in the new file explorer. And Microsoft says the new address bar will intelligently recognize local versus cloud folders with built-in status. And if you are using OneDrive, for OneDrive users, you'll notice the address bar now contains your OneDrive sync status and also your quota flyout, as we can see from the screenshot provided. And then as mentioned, we also get a new modernized uh, details pane in File Explorer. And when uh, users select Microsoft says a file in File Explorer and uh, enables the pane, a modern pane will display contextual information about the file, including file thumbnail, share status and button, file activity, related files and emails and other information. And we have had a look at the new details pane pain before on this channel. So that's uh, looking like it's soon to be released as part of the modern file explorer now being tested in the beta channel. Now the next one is quite a, a significant update and dynamic lighting now has made its way into the beta channel and provides Windows users and developers with native control of lighting devices implementing the OpenHID lamp array standard. Now Microsoft say they are seeking to improve the RGB device and software ecosystem for users by increasing interoperability of devices and apps. Included are APIs for Windows apps to control devices from the background and foreground as well as a page in Windows settings for users to customize how their devices behave. So dynamic lighting I think is a major um, update that could be rolling out to the stable channel in the next couple of months. Moving on to the next one, imp there are improvements for Windows Ink, where um, Windows Ink has been modernized to allow users to enable inking directly onto edit fields, as we can see from this screenshot provided. And Microsoft says over and above that, they are improving the accuracy from the recognition technology and a scratch out gesture for when users need to make edits. And the whole goal of all of this, according to Microsoft, is the goal with Windows Ink is to uh, let users use their pen and handwrite anywhere they can type on their Windows device. So improvements for Windows Ink, but just something to take note of. Um, these improvements only support English US for now, but Microsoft says stay tuned for broader language support. So just take note of that. Now the next one I'm actually personally quite happy to see. And they're introducing a new enhanced volume mixer into quick settings. And the updated audio quick settings experience now brings a modern volume mixer that allows for quick customization of audio on a, on a per app basis, as we can see from the screenshot provided, with additional control to swap devices on the fly. And Microsoft say they've also added a new keyboard shortcut, which is uh, Win Control and V to bring you directly now to the volume mixer for faster control of the experience. And as I've mentioned, I think that is a nice move in the right direction. And then they've also improving Windows Spotlight, where they are rolling out improvements to the Windows Spotlight experience, including preview images, um, which if you click on will move to full screen images um, and um, multiple opportunities to learn more about each image and a minimized experience. So basically, if you right click on that icon for Windows Spotlight, you will see this dialog. And if you want to get rid of this dialog, you just then click on your desktop, which will remove it. So they are improving Windows Spotlight. Moving on to the next one, there's unsafe password copy and paste warnings, where Microsoft say they are trying out a change starting with this build, where uh, users who have enabled warning options for 
Windows Security under App and Browser Control, Reputation-Based Protection, Phishing Protection, will see a UR, User Interface, warning on unsafe password copy and paste, just as they currently see when they type in their password. So that's a bit of a, a security improvement rolling out there. Moving on to the next, and we actually looked at this one last week when it was in the Dev Channel. There are now local file sharing improvements, and I'm just going to go through these improvements quickly. Microsoft say they have redesigned the Windows Share window to better match the Windows 11 design principles. Everyone will now be able to email their files through Outlook directly within the Windows Share window. The Windows Share window now has a search box, as we can see from the screenshot provided. So you can now search for contacts across Outlook to share a file. Instead of a drop down, you will see a button to turn on nearby share. For nearby sharing, you will find your own PCs at the top of discovered devices under nearby share. And something to take note of, Microsoft says files will share faster from one PC to another using Wi-Fi Direct. So those are nearby sharing improvements. A good couple of those now rolling out for the beta channel. Now, just to have a look at some improvements to features that already exist in build 22631. Um, if a camera streaming issue is detected, such as a camera failing to start or a closed camera shutter, a pop-up dialog will appear with the recommendation to launch the automated Get Help Troubleshooter to resolve the issue. As we can see, moving on to another improvement, urgent or important notifications that break through when do not disturb is turned on while using apps at full screen will now display a view notification button to view the content of the notification for privacy. And then the next one is, as you can see, is regarding emoji, where Microsoft say the Unicode emoji 15 now are beginning to roll out to Windows uh, in the beta channel for last week, obviously. And users will now be able to see search for and insert new emoji from the emoji panel and they give um, a few examples here of their new emoji 15 designs which include more hearts animals and one new smiley face and then moving on to the next um, microsoft says when navigating between desktops in task view labels will now be shown as we can see from the screenshot provided new sliding animations will also show when you change your desktops using trackpad gestures, touch gestures, hotkeys, and by clicking on the task view flyout. So those are some of the key highlights and improvements that have made their way into the beta channel. Now, just to do one or two quick mentions, because these are also new improvements that have made their way to the beta channel insiders. Um, there are now passwordless improvements, which according to Microsoft, they say they believe that the future is passwordless. And pass keys are a simple and more secure replacement for passwords when you sign into a website or application that supports them. Pass keys are fish resistant, recoverable, and faster for users, according to Microsoft. So that's passwordless improvements. And the next is um, narrator new natural voices. So some of those new natural voices include Chinese, Spanish, that's Spain and Mexico, Japanese, and English UK, which have now been added. And then the final two for the purpose of today's video, there's also now the ability to end task when right-clicking an app on the taskbar. Microsoft says this should be working correctly in this build. And then the final one for today's video, voice access is now available via the accessibility flyout on the lock screen. And if we just head back to those release notes, over and above that, we get fixes in build 22631 for the file explorer and the task manager. And then we get um, known issues, one for the taskbar and one for narrator. So as mentioned, um, these builds, 22621 and 22631, are bringing us a little bit closer to the next feature update, version 23H2. And as mentioned, some of these features could make their way into that next feature update for Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.